Hi guys, welcome back to Wondershare Recover It, a fully featured data recovery software that makes data recovery easy for all users. As always, we're back with another episode. And today we'll be talking about the file or directory is corrupted and unreadable error. It's a pop-up message that people encounter when Windows is usually trying to access or connect to an external drive or USB drive that's corrupted. Luckily, it's not an extreme Windows error, and there are a few things you can do to resolve it on your own. In this episode, we'll walk you through all of these solutions and help you fix a corrupt external drive and access its contents without any interruptions. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So let's get started with today's episode. Now, before we go any further, first, let's understand what this particular error is and how it might impact your external storage device. In other words, the error occurs when the device you're trying to connect to is corrupted or there are a few bad sectors on it. Apart from these two factors, some of the other reasons that might trigger the file or directory's corrupted and unreadable error include, This is one of the most common reasons behind external storage devices becoming inaccessible. If you don't know already, MFT or master file table stores information about all the data present on that particular storage device. This information includes things like file name, size, location, and basically everything that your system requires to access a file. So when there is an issue with the MFT, it's quite natural for you to encounter errors like directory is corrupted or unreadable. Another common reason why a storage device might become inaccessible is a virus or malware attack. Today, we live in a world that's dominated by the internet. Every second, users are downloading millions of gigabytes of data from different websites, and in many cases, they are unknowingly ending up downloading harmful viruses on their computers. This is the reason why it is crucial to use a dedicated antivirus tool to protect your system against virus attacks. Hardware-related issues such as broken USB ports or damaged USB drives can also make an external storage device inaccessible. Finally, if you unplug your USB drives without clicking on the safely remove option, this could damage the overall logic structure, which can further lead to these unexpected errors. Now, it's worth noting that this error is less likely to entirely damage your external drive. However, if the issue persists, then there's a pretty huge probability that you might end up losing all of your valuable files. So what can you do to resolve the directory's corrupt or unreadable error? Well, since different factors can trigger this issue, you'll have to try different solutions to resolve it. Let's walk you through each of these solutions so that you can choose the right troubleshooting method and access the content from your corrupt hard drive easily. If you don't want to deal with any hassle and fix a storage device right away, the easiest method would be for you to format it completely. When you format the entire drive, the system will automatically restore the file system and deletes all of the files. This potentially removes all the logic errors and you'll be able to access the storage device without encountering any errors. So here's how to do it. Press the Windows and X keys together on your keyboard and click Disk Management. Then right click the volume or drive that you want to format and then select Format. A new pop-up will appear on your screen. Here, select the file system and then go through all the different options and click OK to complete the process. In case you don't want to format the storage device right away, you can also use the check disk utility to evaluate and fix the error. If you are a regular viewer of the Wondershare Recovery channel, you may already seen how many times we use the check disk and how many times it has helped tackle unexpected errors on Windows. This utility automatically scans and troubleshoots different logical errors with the drive. So here's how you can run check disk in Windows. Head to the Cortana search box and type Type CMD and then when the option appears, right click CMD and then click on run as administrator. Once the CMD window opens, type this command into it and then press enter. Here, make sure to replace the letter H with the current drive letter of your storage device that you want to fix. 
Wait for check disk to automatically execute. Once the process completes, try opening up the storage device and check if you are able to access it without encountering any errors. As I mentioned earlier, the presence of viruses is one of the most common reasons behind this particular directory error in Windows. So if the previous two methods didn't work in your favor, go ahead and run an in-depth scan on your storage device. To do this, you can use a dedicated antivirus software and make sure to use the full scan feature in your antivirus instead of the quick scan one, as this will perform a comprehensive system scan and evaluate all of the virus infected files. If nothing works in your favor so far, the last solution would be to check if the USB drive works on another system. In some cases, users might also encounter the directory error due to a damaged USB port or conventional system errors. So try opening the USB drive into another system. And if you are able to access it without any hassle, then go ahead and check the USB ports on your current computer. So that's a wrap on today's episode where we gave you a few different solutions to fix the directory is corrupted and unreadable error. I hope that you were able to fix your USB drive and access all of its contents without having to deal with any data loss. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to drop us a like and comment down below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification. But anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.